Hi, I'm Keisha, and this is going to be a video installation of the Baby Trent Hybrid Combination Seat. The Baby Trent Hybrid is a combination seat, which means it's a forward facing only seat that converts to a booster. And in this particular case, the instruction manual, while it's always important to read and follow the instruction manual, is not super clear about certain installation methods. So I want to go ahead and make this video to highlight one of the installation methods that is probably most confusing. Okay. The first thing that I want to point out is that with this particular seat, there are nine different installation methods possible, depending on whether your child weighs 22 to 40 pounds or whether they weigh 40 to 50 pounds, whether you're installing with latch, whether you're installing with lap and shoulder belt, whether you have tether or not. Okay, so what I'm gonna highlight here is what I call the long belt path routing installation, which is being referenced in this diagram and this diagram. Okay, again, it's really not clear about what that's trying to show you, and even in the manual, if you read the words, it's not super clear, so hence the video. All right, the first thing that you wanna do with any forward-facing seat is prep the tether, so in this case, I've already have it threaded through the posts on the head restraint. Most vehicles nowadays will have a switchable retractor, and that's what we have in this training seat. And while I could have done this video in a car, um, it's a lot easier to show you how to do this on the training seat, and you'll see why in a moment. All right, the first thing that you're gonna do is take your lap and shoulder belt, and you're gonna split it. Now, just the lap belt portion is going to go in front of the armrest. That's the latch strap. Sorry, get the straps out of the way so we can see. Okay, so we're gonna come in front of the armrest with just the lap strap. The shoulder belt portion of the belt, in this case, is gonna tuck behind the head wing. Now I'm going to gather my lap and shoulder belt portions together again, and I'm going to thread them through this slit in the cover that lines up with the belt path. So you find your slit, your belt path is right behind it, you're gonna take both portions of the lap and shoulder belt, and you're gonna go outside of the, sh the back of the shell. So you can see now that I am clearly outside the back of the shell. Now I'm gonna take these two belts and I'm going to route them through the opening on the other side of the belt path and then come through the front again. And all the while, you have to make sure that you don't have any twists in your belt. So after I do this, I'm gonna go back and look and make sure I don't have any twists. Here's my other slit. I'm gonna come from behind the shell. Okay, you can see here, I clearly have some twists. Let me go ahead and fix them. This again has to come in front. And, okay. So that's what it's gonna look like at this point. I had need to give myself more slack. Some belts are actually not long enough to do this, but in this particular case, the belt is. I'm gonna go all the way to the end. It's okay. If I go all the way to the end and switch the retractor, because that's what I'm going to need to do anyway. So in this case, I've got every inch of webbing here on this side. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two belts and I'm going to split them again, routing one in front of the armrest. The other one goes, slips into this guide. Okay. And it's to be clear, this is a guide. It's not a lock off. So you do need to lock the seat belt either by switching the retractor or by having a locking latch plate or by using a locking clip if you don't have either of those. Okay, so now I'm buckled and now I have to tighten. So I'm gonna figure out where my slack comes from. All right. making sure that my retractor is locked, and it is, okay? So now I'll check for tightness, making sure that it doesn't move more than an inch from side to side or from front to back. In this case, it's a really snug installation, which is great, but it's sort of crazy looking, all right? And this is actually the correct installation with lap and shoulder belt using the tether. So when you're interacting with your parents, it's really important that you make sure that they're willing and able to do this because unfortunately, this seat does not have a no rethread harness, which means that every time your child grows a little bit and you need to raise the harness height, 
you need to manually, you need to take the seat out and you need to manually remove the straps from the splitter plate and re-thread them through the different harness slots. So parents are gonna have to redo the installation several times, likely, as their children grow. So it's really important that your parents and caregivers who have this seat understand the installation method and are able to replicate it. All right, so the other thing that I wanna show is latch. Because if you're lucky enough to have a seating position with latch, you really wanna go ahead and use latch in this case so you don't have to do all of that. I'm gonna come back to these installation methods here. And you'll see that if your child weighs between 22 and 40 pounds and you're using latch, it is a standard installation. It is what you will be used to. Latch belt comes here through the belt guide, out the other side and connects. However, if your child weighs between 40 and 50 pounds and you're installing with latch, you need to also do this serpentine routing with the latch strap. It is a little easier in this case because you don't have a shoulder belt. But what you would do in this case, this way. All right, either way, I'm not sure it really matters what direction, what side the adjuster is on, but you're going to hook your lower anchor connector onto your lower anchor bar, okay? And then you're going to come around the front of the armrest. You're gonna go out through the back of the shell you're gonna come around the other side and go under the armrest on the other side. So you will be making this serpentine shape with your latch strap. Um, it's still weird and funky, but it's easier because you don't have the shoulder belt. All right, so again, this is the Baby Trend Hybrid, and I hope this video has been helpful.